Yes, brother. Thank you, sir. Sir, I am Dr. Rajesh. I am homeopathic doctor, and uh, I have uh, two questions. That uh, I have read that about uh, Muhammad Peygamber as the last and the final prophet. Why the stress is given on the word last and the final? And are you afraid of any new one? And if God decides and will send a new one. Don't you welcome him? And if I want to do the same thing on the top, then what is the solution of Islam and Islam? Thank you, sir. Brother, there are two questions. One thing that, why do you stress so much that he is the last prophet? If God wants to send a second one, can't he send? And the last question is, if I want to see Almighty God, what is the solution? I'll come to the last question later yes, on. Sir, the right. first question, why do I stress that Prophet Muhammad is the last prophet? Not only I stress the Veda stress, the Purana stress, the Bible stress, as well as the Quran and the other scriptures. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 40, مَا قَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَهْدِمْ مِرْجَالِكُمْ وَلَاكِ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِينَ وَقَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْنَ عَلِيمًا That Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the father of any of you men, but he is the Prophet of Almighty God. He is the seal of the Prophets. And Allah is all-knowing, full of knowledge. Now, when Almighty God said, if Almighty God wants to send, He can surely send. But Almighty God does not speak a lie. Almighty God doesn't tell a lie. It's mentioned in the Quran in chapter 33, Surah Azab, chapter 33, verse 40, that this is the last prophet. So Almighty God knows. If He wanted to send another prophet, He would not have mentioned this is the last prophet. So because He had mentioned it the last prophet, I believe in it. And since Almighty God, He knows the future. You and I don't know the future. Almighty God knows the future and he said that this is the last. Therefore, I believe in it. Now, depending upon the requirement, what was required, he has given. Some people say, why didn't he send Prophet Muhammad in the day one? You know, my son wants to do medicine. He said, why don't you put me in medical college directly? First, I have to go to school. Standard one, standard two, standard three, pass school, then medical, right? So depending upon how the humanity progressed, Almighty God kept on sending messengers. And by name, four are mentioned, but there were many revelations sent. Torah, Zabur, Injil, by name is mentioned. Now Almighty God thought it fit that 1400 years back, humanity reached a level to understand the Quran. Then he sent his last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, last and final message, the glorious Quran. Now if Almighty God wants, he can surely send. But since he has mentioned, he will not send, he will not send. And this religion has completed. The previous scriptures were not in the complete form. Allah mentions, Almighty God mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Maida chapter 5, verse number 3, that on this day have I completed my favor unto you, have chosen for you Islam, and complete the religion for you. After the religion of Islam is completed, nothing new can be added, nothing can be subtracted from this religion. It's complete. That's the reason if anyone today says that he gets revelation from Almighty God, Anyone who says he's a prophet of God, he has to go to a psychiatrist. Today, there are hundreds of people claiming to be God, people claiming to be prophets of God. They require a psychiatrist. Because after this, no other revelation will come. After this, no other prophet will come. Regarding the second part of the question, what can you do if you want to see God? Anyone, if you tell what, what should I do? I'll tell you what should I do. In this world, you cannot see God. That was Moses, peace be upon him, it's mentioned in the Quran. He wanted to see God. So Almighty God said, look at the mountain. I will show a glimpse of me to the mountain. So what happened to the mountain? By looking what happened to the mountain, Prophet Moses fainted. So in this world, you cannot see, but you can see in the next world. If you go to Jannah, you will have everything, food, everything you will have. The people, it's mentioned in the Hadith, they will crave to see the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you want to see Almighty God, you have to read the final revelation of God, the glorious Quran, and follow the final revelation, and follow the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you follow the scripture, and the last and final revelation, inshallah, you'll go to Jannah. If I follow, I will go to Jannah. And then inshallah, if we both are the same, both of us will go to Jannah, and inshallah, we will see Almighty God.
Hope that answers the question. Thank you, sir.